Will the perfect season continue this weekend at Bud's Creek? Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's good to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Who's ready to do a little moto whistleblown? We got a Bud's Creek in the industry. What are they going to hype this weekend, I wonder? Hmm, I don't know. It's anybody's guess. There's so many stories to follow. Throw a dart at a story map and you're going to hit something that we could talk about. No, there's only one thing we can hype right now. The only one thing, not Ricky at Triumph, not Eli coming back, not anything. There's only one thing left that we can hype. Jet's perfect season. The industry loves Jet, don't they? Drink the Jet Kool-Aid. Their whole marketing scheme, and I don't even want to call it a campaign, because it's a scheme. They're looking at anything they can do to turn into a feel-good lifestyle story. Although Danger Boy, Danger Boy is providing what the industry would need it. The good guy and the bad guy. That kid's a good kid, but unfortunately, he's going to be the bad guy. Why? Because his dad was the bad guy. The industry hated Brian Deegan. They hated the Metal Militia. They hated freestyle motocross. That's why we don't have it anymore. They eventually squash anything they don't like. That's why you need guys like Walty in here whistleblowing that's been in the trenches of the industry with the hardest hitting brands to ever grace the pits. That's why we're here today. But today we're going to talk about the perfect season, if, it, if it's going to happen, is it going to continue on this weekend at Bud's? This is the million dollar question. We know the industry, of course, is going to hype it. It's That's all we're going to talk about. It's going to be like, what? Hello? Like, you're it's going like you're gonna to fall asleep. They're going to put you to sleep. They're going to talk about the perfect season. They got to do a lot of things right now to sugarcoat what's going on out there. But the reality is, it, is this. I'll tell you what, Ricky, Ricky will be there because Ricky and Bubba both ha has, they're the only ones that have done this that I'm aware of, but I don't think either of them did it as a rookie. This could be monumental. Jet might enter the record books of being another rider in the premier class to do the perfect season, the unthinkable, but he's about to do it as a Ricky, uh, as a Ricky, not as a Ricky, sorry, Ricky, Hank, and Ricky's going to be there, though, Ricky will be there sugarcoating it, like, I just want to see history, no, he doesn't, Ricky does not want to see history made, even if he says he does, he might think he does, but he doesn't, secretly, when he hits the pillow at night, he's thinking, I hope Jet doesn't do it as a rookie, because that's a record I don't have, he's won a championship as a rookie, but he had, he didn't do the perfect season as a rookie, but here's the thing, it gets better or worse, depending on if you're Jet or not. I think now that the money has been won. The championship's where the money's at. The perfect season, there's no real money other than the fact it increases your star power and contract money. Your agent can go negotiate for you after you do the perfect season. That's when your stock value really goes up. But at the moment, it's not doing anything for him. And if he completes the perfect season, it's not like he gets a big payday the way he did by winning the championship last weekend. No, he's not, it's just not going to happen. Where it goes up is your stock value. That's the only place the, the perfect season will really help Jet moving forward. Potentially. Potentially. We don't even know for sure. But potentially, logic would tell you that's what's going on. But here's the thing. This is Bud's Creek. I, unless there's rain or weather, I believe we'll have a more level playing field. And I believe, I don't know now how he's going to react. Is he going to ride faster? I mean, he was pretty cautious at Unadilla, it would appear, because he let uh, Sexton get close. And he was, he was falling asleep on the finish line or the starting gate with, I don't know if that was Ricky or the nerves. It doesn't matter. Probably a little of both. <laughs> I know they don't dig the amount of sugar coating and watering down and fluff the industry's the industry is doing this to the, the Lawrence family. They're watering down the family and making them squeaky clean. And I don't think they want that. Because they came in here as blue call a blue collar family that fought. And the industry did nothing for them until now. Now the industry wants to do something for them. They didn't the, the industry did zero for the Lawrence family. 
until Jed emerged as, as doing what he's doing today. Nothing, nothing for that family. And they'll throw this. You think if Jet gets hurt and buses an Achilles this weekend at Bud's, and all of a sudden, the industry will forget about him in a hot second. Hot second. So you've been warned, Lawrence Brothers. The industry will move on from you in a hot second. Make no mistake about that. But now we get to talk about is this the weekend that potentially I believe Chase or even Ferrandis or even El Ombre or maybe even Plessinger, these are guys that have shown the ability to win. I believe this is the best chance anybody has to stop Jet in, unless he does it himself is this weekend at Bud's Creek. There's a good chance I believe this could be the weekend he gets stopped. Now, if I was a betting man, I don't know if I'd take this bet, but I believe this weekend has higher probability of Jet being stopped than any previous round we have because he's wrapped up the championship. I don't know where he's at with this. I don't know if he necessarily likes the industry the way he's treating him. Now, the, the reality is he wants the perfect season. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? But now that everything changes, this will be a breath of fresh air because Buds is going to be a track that some of these other riders do well at. And I believe that there's a good chance we're going to see potentially this weekend we, he gets challenged. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We're going to come back after Buds and we'll do our recap, blowing stuff apart, of course, because that's what we do here. <laughs> Insanity, this stuff. But I believe this is the weekend that, that we potentially could see Jetson get stopped. He's either going to do it himself or we're going to see one of the riders I mentioned or somebody else come up and challenge him and potentially be able to get it done. Now, he might win the overall with a 2-1 or a 1-2 or whatever. But this could be the... He, he'll probably get the overall, but he might not win a moto. If it doesn't happen this weekend at Bud's, there's a good chance it could happen because he's won... That dude has the capability of coming through the pack. Make no mistake. He could get a last pace start and still win. But it's going to be hard. Because if you get like somebody like a Ferrandis and a Sexton out front, gap in the field and clean air, and he's got to come through the pack, that could equal a second place finish. And final thoughts. I come to you as a friend, as a moto guy. Somebody wants to see you not only win on the track, off the track. Understand the waters we're swimming in now? Shark infested. Shark in. Fest and Jetson, you're about to go back in to the kiddie pool at Bud's Creek. This is a different race for you. The championship's wrapped up. The industry's kind of hyping up. A lot of drama. They're going to cling on to this one and milk it for everything it's got. They're going to add a little bit of pressure. You might fall asleep being interviewed by Ricky again if they let him down near the gate. Who knows? One thing's for sure, though. Walty will be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with the links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might this enjoy. video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. I'll see you on the next video.